Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues for the A to Z series which we are continuing on with this campaign playing as a Black Canyon but we gotta talk about the origins of the gang with this generic focus tree. Formed in blood and gore most of the time, rare gangs certainly aren't always like that. Uh, what were we before that we formed? Old World criminals running the gauntlet before long anyone else did. A form of tribal seeking up arms for profit and fun or revolt to others. Broken by experiments and wanted nothing more than uh, make the ways unsuffer. Gang lifestyle. Be it killing, maiming, pillaging, road riding, or even simple cam deals, every gang has a shtick. And us is no different, although obviously we're going to go much farther than some two-bit cam pusher, but we're into the gang. Man, everyone's got a bloody good story, every half pin gang will want to be conquered. Between you and me, we're the real deal, the realest deal. Before we were raiders, we were the real deal. Now, heck, well, heck, no one, no one's got it made like us. Old world criminals, well, dwellers, biggest, baddest tribe. I was going to go with this one. 4.0 caps update, uh, very cool. I've already played it, I think, but we'll see. And gang ambition, of course, it's a tribute. Nah, we're well, good. Beauty Paradise. Paradise is the name of the tribal living here. Call this city. Marvelous ecological paradise within the waste, hidden between the mountain. While this place is marvelous, we have a feeling that something is hidden behind the fauna of this place. Large metal gates and hidden pathways give the impression that there is something else working here outside of our grasp. So it's pretty pretty. And gain ambition. We're not going to say stay on the back burner forever. It's time to go big and we'll take what is ours. Weaklings and idiots surround us. Why not just simply take what we want? We'll do whatever we want to them. We're greater than nobody screws with us. What kind of game? What do you mean, what kind? You know who we are. You know what we do, and what we do is the best. No one rivals us. Anyone that wants it to is in for the beating of a lifetime. We'll rule the roads, the loudest, fastest hogs out there. We got your fix. Every kind of fix is top quality stuff. We're raiders, loot, kill, pillage, repeat. What more do you need? We're gonna go with division speed. Um, new leadership. <laughs> Starting the flow. Passive captain come up pretty nice. Dope raiders. I do want to go to war quickly though. Should be kind of nice. Um, more population's okay. Let's go with improving the heartland. Getting control of more and more territory and set of reach would be definitely let us go faster. Taking over factories uh, and proceeding to a few executions to bring out the most people in line. The 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 penitentiary uh, incident, as well as uh, you know what about the future? I'll tell you about the freaking future. Bang top, they're going to the top. We got big plans, big freaking plans. Boss knows what's on the up and up. Trust me. Twenty years from now, and we'll rule this freaking wasteland. So are you in? You want a slice of the pie, scab? We take slaves, good money, good trade, no downside. Same plans always, we're going to take what we need from whomever. Those are the pissing gangs, they don't respect us yet. One of the worst kept secrets, government secrets before the Great War was the existence of Zetons, extraterrestrial beings that have observed the human race from outer, spit, uh, the outer orbit. While the American government never officially acknowledged their presence, they had other things on their mind after all. Well, it's taken as a more or less concerned fact by the public that these aliens were here to stay. Sure enough, the Zetons seemed to be here over two centuries after the Great War. They surely watched gle with gleeful excitement. How do we know? Well, it seems like a Zeton spacecraft has landed near the penitentiary. Two Zetons occupants, identified due to their frequent resemblance to the pre-war graffiti, remained alive for putting up a solid defense of the craft ship. A few of our soldiers have already perished while scouting out, uh, but surely with a coordinated assault, we can surely overwhelm the two defenders and reach craft. Leave it be. Break it down for scrap. Break it down for scrap. As uh, we are training, because I don't want to go to war with these guys, but it's going to take some time to get down there. But you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. We have old world criminals, of course. Now road hogs, as well as mean dudes. We're just mean. Uh, putting skulls on sticks. Of course, I do want that research slot, but you know, incorporating slavers. Yeah, the kind of bomb some of the boys out with all the wailing and pleading and such. But the slaves are so useful, you can't really go without them. If making pretty much do anything, that includes making them think if they last more than five seconds, the front line they'll be free. Slave labor. Organizing massive slave recruitment and putting them to work in construction? Genius. Okay, some of them might lose an arm or two from time to time, but you can't doubt that brothel got built that way faster than usual and forced labor. You have to be smart when you use slaves. Push them hard enough just to have good results, but not quite enough to kill or maim them. That takes a certain degree of skill and with better training. Uh, before our slave masters, we can make them work under the harsh desert sun on roads. And slaving scientists. Does you see all those big brains here? Yeah, well, they don't look like much, but maybe, just maybe. They could actually give us better shooties and such. How about we just make them work for us? Watch them close and see how fast they make explosives when you have a gun pointed at them and start the flow. We've recently taken a bit a short on sauce. Everyone knows sauce makes it all go round, but we don't got the caps to get any. A little talk might loosen up the tab. Uh, infrastructure's okay. Uh, territorial reinforcement's okay as well. Terrorizing the locals, it's all okay. Dope Raiders. We got on our hands something called Super Jam while nobody has an idea where it comes from. Sure makes the boys mad a sec. Just bump full of stuff and unleash them on the enemy. Just make sure to wait a long while after wait for the withdrawal to kick in and don't mind the body parts. And now everyone, we are super, super close to taking out these guys. As we're enslaving some scientists, of course. Uh, we're going to get to, of course, like we read earlier, do some dope raiders. And get used as the research slot. And finally we can do that too. Thank God. Uh, we'll go there. Um, so really, these guys only have up to three divisions. Pretty decent. Um, Ouroboros. Ooh. Ouroboros is going to be a pain in the butt eventually, so we do need to take care of them. Red Mountain might be good to take out as well. 
Uh, maybe go with these guys first. 145 days, of course, because we do have this guy. It gives us minus 200% just by war goals times. We went, did go to basically war economy, a well equipped army. And let's go to war. We have eight divisions here, and we have a relatively decent okay infantry. Uh, against power armor, we're not going to be able to penetrate them, unfortunately, but if we can go this way, that'd be much better. And circle and take off all 21. That's basically how we're going to have to do this in the end. So, which does kind of suck, but whatever. Uh, in the meantime, though, we're going to talk about Dope Raiders, uh, strong stuff. Paying the boys. The gang is starting to get a bit rowdy. They ain't be liking the way things been going on. Too much popping, not enough rocking. If we give them a little kick back after job well done, it should grease the gears. New leadership. Some should get up in the gang. And more and more, the boys begin to whisper, and then we can tell the th air is thick enough to cut it with a knife. Whatever happened, it'll happen is a bloodbath. But go with the boss. As the whispers spread and people look more and more shifty, the boss will begin to think that that maybe the worms don't know their place. A good beating would probably take care of that, otherwise some brain spread on the wall do do that as well. Don't question the boss. Even in the middle of punching a traitor, having tried to stab him in the back, the boss's mind wandered to deep questions. Would it really work like this? Maybe bribe them would be better, but as he felt something wet splash on his face, namely bits of bone and blood from the caved in face he was bashing, you realize that violence is perfectly good as well. Oh boy. Use that power armor. Oh, well, we're gonna have to force the attack no matter what to push them out. We're doing very well against the armor, and they're very uh, weak now, which is very nice. The iron grip. A few executions here, a few maimings there, some particularly violent killings with impressive stuff, such as grenades, shotguns, and voila, this gang was entirely beaten to him again. It's almost boring. Everyone got quickly got back to work even harder than before, and he got back on the throne of metal and skulls. Exactly as it should be. Look at that, beautiful. Don't let him move, and let's rack up at least hopefully a little bit more army XP here. And the power armor, even though it sucks for these guys, we're basically one. Vault 27 is ours. And ours, hopefully, forever more. Until at least Ouroboros comes and tries to kill us, of course. All they had, literally, left was support equipment. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. I also do that and take out some more stuff. And dope raiders, of course, too. Cool Heartland's not bad, but, uh, lightning raids? We're in and we're out before they even know what happened. That's how it goes, boys. We're going fast and hard. Take the loot and take the slaves. Take the And fade in, fade out. You know it's time to go to war with the next group of people here, also known as the Luminous Ones. Which, we should do okay. Well, they do have some of those motorized troops, which isn't good for us, but, you know, whatever. Let them all go in, and hopefully we can make it some supplements here and there. Uh, go there, 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 and head down. Yeah, I'll go to check water, why not? We won't be able to pierce them. We will need to research some anti-tank, or really anti-rocketry stuff, but, you know, we'll get there. Also, call in our allies, too, because they can probably be very useful. Chug water would be nice this time of year until we get in circled ourselves, but whatever. Oh boy. Well, as long as they're not trying to circle us. And we got him? Nope. Oh, we lost a tile there. But we got him! Easy peasy. Not bad, but we really do need research on uh, some more stuff here. Oh. Sure, why not? We are lacking uh, quite a bit of stuff, which sucks, but, you know, whatever. War in uh, a motorized. Uh, well, we need to research more stuff, don't we? We really do. Uh, we're doing the boss though still. Um, up after these couple, we'll be paying the boys as well. Victory Hills. Oh well, we don't get the strong stuff, which actually really sucks. That's actually really good. Wow. We did do lightning raids earlier, but proving yourself. If you want to lead our boys, you better group prove you can. Well, that generally means that you can beat someone to death with his own arm. Sound tactical choice is also acceptable, I guess. The baggers. It's time for them to die. Of course. Like no, we have no manpower, but that doesn't ever stop us before, has it? Of course not. Let's call these guys in so we can get access to their lands. Very good. And once again, we're going to need a well. Yeah, we haven't had enough time to actually switch research and whatnot, but we'll get there. You know, we should do okay overall. Maybe not in some areas, but. Other uh, areas will be doing more than fine, as we'll probably just do what we did earlier and just kind of sneak around their victory points if possible. That'd be the nicest thing to do. Uh, I want you to go there. And then do that. Burgsdale, huh? Yeah, we just can't penetrate these guys, which sucks. We like penetrating guys, don't we? Well. Oh, they're doing force defense. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's certainly a decision they made. Um, anything else here? Melee hacker, infantry attack and defense. Yeah, I'll well get with that stuff then. You know, I'll force it. They want to force defense, and they won't force the attack. It's gonna be costly in terms of manpower, but whatever. It's a little bit more of a struggle this time, but overall, we're gonna win on the entire front. So, and three. I want to make the encirclement. Uh, let's come over here, anti tank. Uh, there you go. 
Come on. Let us win right here. Don't let him win down here. Come on. There we go. Now you want to do that. There you go. Nice. Wait, what are you... I don't understand the AI sometimes, man. Very good. Why did you stack four divisions here? I really don't understand the AI, do I? Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone. The stupidity here is very st alarming. Here we would win that right there no matter what. We've lost 207, that's ridiculous. Especially when you have no manpower. Oh boy. Do that. Go there. Kimball. That'd be nice. That should be enough, but. Probably can't penetrate these guys. Oh, we can't pierce them. Pierce, penetrate, you know, the same thing, basically. There we go. A little bit more of a challenge this time. But oh well. We still got them. I think where their dogs are next. So. But we're doing okay. Um, this is a scare package. Ah, screw it. Why not? What is this? Output cut factory. Um, where do they compliance? Why not? What is compliance like right now? Well, let's see. Thirty, thirty, three percent resistance. Forty-nine percent compliance. We're working on it. Lightning raids. Sure, why not? As it should take too drastically much longer. About a month left for that. That's not bad. Um, over here, saws, dynamite, let's get some dynamite. Dynamite's pretty nice to get to. Even though we will need to save up some of our, uh, stuff here. And by stuff, I mean, like, political power, so that we can core stuff. That's one of the things we definitely want to do. Actually, how much would it take to core this? Quite a bit of resistance, 70 is not bad. Once we're done with them, and we'll get some anti-tank, we'll go over here too. Right now, we don't have enough of that. And to control, 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 it's not bad. Basic planes are, they're okay, they're not great. They're just okay. We got one. But not really one because we have no manpower, which really sucks. Alright, almost there. Three days left. Almost no manpower. Kind of like us. Abundant firepower, wow. That's actually really cool. So they're a bit too far away from us. Um, at this point, 15 is not bad. Or Burles might really be the group we really want to take out. So for us, it took 20, oh, only 25 days. That's not bad. Even though we have no manpower, which is not good at all. But whatever. 5% uh, Raider bands. That really starts hurting us if we can. Do anything but before we do that, that'd be good. Bomber attack, fire production cost, Raiders of the Seas, not really worth it, I'd say. Ship, plane stuff, slaving dude. Um, compliance is not bad either. Command power doesn't really matter though. Uh, I always do this one, but not core manpower, huh? You know what? Daily compliance, we'll get extra daily compliance, why not? Screw it. We could use it probably. Uh, there it goes for the dogs. Thank you. 61%, 44, 0%. Pretty all normal stuff. Nope. Hopefully they don't attack us. Because we literally only have our just infantry. That's it. Nothing else. Literally nothing else. Our oh, fire team's a dead one. Couldn't play. There we go. So they have a bounty tank. That's good. Uh, get some, oh, hello. I'll grab some of this too. Nice. Go with three. Load by one. Do that. My god, do we need it? Lightning raids are nice. Go to war with those guys, paint the boys. Well, let's take a, like, a little bit of a save and see what we can do. So, how, how well have these guys been doing? Not that well. It is over a river they're trying to fight. If you do that, could you win? Ah, there are two divisions now. Well, if you do this, could you win? And if you can't win, that's still okay for now, but still. Maybe. No, you ding dong, let's go this way. 
See, they complain, they can, they can, if they can, they can. Uh, deal, you can't refuse them. Our gracious friends have been a bit conservative with their donations. I think if we go and give them a nice meal, we can make them an offer that helps them and us, but us a little extra. Encouraging slavers. It might be pushing it a tad too far for some, but more slavers and more cows mean more slaves to use in our army. Which is always a good thing, of course. We could always use them in our, uh, for other stuff later on, too. I read that one earlier, brutal hazy. Watch your troops when you just dope them into heck and have them fight each other. Whoever's left is clearly more experienced than the other, after all. And general equality through violence. We don't really discriminate around here. If you throw a grenade far enough to land it where it's funny to watch explode, or if you can slice someone's arm off with a machete, you are in. And we're still fighting Ouroboros, unfortunately, which is taking forever, but whatever, in which we are trying to get rid of some of these divisions here. Some of these ugly, evil divisions. Um, but in the meantime, we're doing recruiting them young, because we like them young. Now it's really bring more troops to the front line, yeah? Just have to make sure they can actually lift the rifle or aim it. Cruel Heartland. A lot of space is wasted on unnecessary buildings, like houses or clinics, or even something stupid as a farm. Burn them all down, that should give us room to expand. Territorial reinforcements is next. We need to keep both uh, slaves in and the rival gangs out. Now for that, we've organized a bunch of raiders to help build. I'll post along the borders. Staffing them is easy, just as any gang member worth a cell will want to be the first in the action. Hey, we got rid of that division. Nice. Um, we're up by now. Alright, so down here. Uh, enemies are doing well, what enemies do, and we might be able to do a general attack at this point. Get a guys on the board and whatnot, see what we can do. And after them, do want to go to War with Iron Alliance? Right now, though, what do we have cooking for us? Um, infantry, anti tank. Anti tank's not looking too bad, actually. Finally. Do we have anything else here? No, that's kind of sad. Dynamite, eh, we got a little bit of dynamite. Why don't we. Can't quite throw it on there just yet on each division, but whatever. And in the meantime, though, as we're desperately trying to kill off all of our enemies. But then skulls on sticks. You know, you think scaring people is easy, but now you gotta think about it. Instead of just putting random body parts and sticks and spraying crude messages everywhere, our boys have found it's far more effective to put a decapitated human head still having all its skin. Terrorize locals. Sometimes you just gotta take care of simple matters. Threaten some locals, burn down stuff in the distance, holler at them while firing in the air. That should calm anyone wanting to be a hero. Now it's certainly release some of the stress on our boys while we wait for the next raid and raid headquarters. Well, we need is a huge fortress, something that will immediately make rival gangs cower. We'll have huge walls and entire rooms, dedicated weapon production, and lots of slaves to build even bigger and better. That's going to be awesome. Territorial loyalties. As we give more and more loot to our troops, they'll certainly take a liking in the lifestyle. Combine that with reminding them what generally happened to raiders caught by actual nations, and they'll make them fight a little hard to keep this kind of life. Manifest destiny. Look around, we're surrounded by morons, and they're so weak too. They barely have anything on them, they don't even know how to lift a rifle. Why are we scared of them again? Their land, their loot, their cities, they should be ours. And we'll make them ours by force. Hey, nice. We take that. They shouldn't be able to take anything then, right? Nope, I want it. Oh, they're for snickety bunch, aren't they? They did take Ronin or Ron Plateau, so. Alright, come on, AI, seriously, bro. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? You don't deserve it. We deserve it. Yeah, see, there you go. Wait a minute for that. That's fine. Confirm and exit. Nice. And we'll do all that. We never die. I mean, except when we do. But you know what I mean? The gang never dies. I mean, there's just so much pillaging and looting and shooting. How could it ever? We'll get more balls. We'll keep getting more crystals. We'll keep getting more loot. And with Iron Alliance here, they're not allied with anybody. And we want to go to war with them. And just you, a me, bit. and we're probably going to lose against a whole bunch of power armor people. But, you know, well, I guess we'll see after we stop training them just for a little bit. Territorial reinforcements. Put in their sticks on skulls. Oh, uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't think I have enough penetration here, unfortunately. You know what? Instead of this one, get more penetration. We're definitely going to need it for these guys. Now, that's probably not going to go super well for us, but you never know. Um, There is one division here. Could we actually do that? Because if we could, that'd be fan flip fantastic. Ooh, they immediately reinforce the position. Oh, terrible. I know. Absolutely terrible. Uh, could you guys do anything here? Maybe? Maybe not? Uh, they're not moving any their divisions around. As long as we concentrate our forces, we should be okay. Oh, good. They attack us. Because we're attacking them too. Uh, good. Let's take at least one division here. At the very least. Good. Stay there. You're not allowed to lose. Yeah, I'd rather have you die than anything else. Good, good, good. Kill those divisions off. Good, good, good. Let them do that. Kill them off here and there and do all sorts of funky, nasty stuff to them. Very nice, very nice. Um, now, can we do this? Maybe, perhaps, yes, no, maybe so. Up here, we're going to struggle, but on the rest of the front, we should do okay. Uh, so hopefully we can get some core territory around here, maybe? We have over 100 political parties, yes? 
Very nice, very nice. Keep up the pressure. I'd rather you guys focus here. That does and does so. Went that way, which is fine. Your sterling would be nice. Expression for technology. We have no men to spare. Unfortunately, but whatever. It is what it is. Ah, tech character, burn the waste. I want to save with maximum infrastructure. Cool. I took 10 canoes from the last time from the last group, so that should be okay. Go up to 3 here. Um, any upgrades? Level 5 is pretty decent, but we have no extra profiles to attack with, so. Honestly, you should all just hold for the most part, maybe except for you. I let everyone else kind of move out and around and about. Um, so maybe we could encircle somebody here, but that's that's going to a lot. What's up, barnacles? No, stop. You guys want to maybe do that. And if they start leaving the area, then maybe we'll just start going in. Yeah, I might be able to just take them out that way, perhaps, too. Yeah, I'm going to force fence. And I'm going to attack as well. Because if they want to redo their lines, it's fine with me. Is that a tile in itself? And then kind of go all the way around there, huh? Strong the front. Uh, let's get some more supports, yes. That'd be very nice. If you get to play crossings, you might just be able to do well there. He's definitely learning a lot. He has no defense, though, unfortunately. Is there a fox, hellfighter? Can we actually penetrate them? Yeah, I'll pierce them, I should say. Stop saying penetrate. We can penetrate a lot of people. Let's go with, uh, you know what, let's go with frag grenades for this one. Put in skulls on sticks, terrorizing them locals. That'd be nice. Just go around him. Uh, bruh. Come on now. Good. Just hold for now. Get some more manpower back. Some more infantry equipment, of course, because we are severely lacking that. Currently, at least. Focus fire, rocket launchers. I don't mind spending some army XP for that one. They really want to attack us here, huh? Interesting. Um, level one. Can you do with four not fully equipped divisions to just take out a power armor unit? Yeah, I think so. Red will be great. And good to those guys as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Cool. And send you guys over there too. Cool. Earn 600,000 caps in one note through trade routes. Wow, that's a lot of caps. That's quite a few caps, not gonna lie. Well, let me cut through there and take this tile as well. Okay, come on. Come on. Like, bruh. I'm gonna force it. Okay, seriously, bro. Well, that means they're weak somewhere else then. Standardized tools. Ah, we got them. Nice. That took way too long to do. Conquer node. Very good. Um, in the meantime, you guys are going to come down here. You're not going to have enough strength to do that, but whatever. You guys should have enough strength to do this as well. Uh, I'm going to plop you out immediately because we need you down here. We need at least one more division, so. There you go. And just hold the line if you possibly can. Uh, infantry armor, infantry equipment, power armor, spec ops. Spec ops, we're probably not going to use power armor. Motorized vehicles are okay. Demo teams. We have actually a decent amount of stuff on here. Do we have any fire teams yet? No, we don't. But we definitely got to research next. That's alright. Let's see what we can do about this. Because I know they're going to be going to attack us like that for our sons. Here, do that. Portable radios from our uh, land doctrine, of course. Prepare defenses. Get this one next. Rush through our land doctrine as fast as we possibly can. The deep mines would be nice. Terrorize the locals, of course. And then raid our headquarters. Sure, why not? And you're going to force the attack. You're not going to take no for an answer. 
28 versus that many. Not bad, not bad. We're still building ourselves up quite a bit here, which is pretty nice, but build up here some more so it's like that. And since we're here, go ahead and not do this, but do this, and go another state or two. More manpower factories, you know the good stuff. Are you freaking kidding me right now, bro? Brosives, come on. Do better. Do better. You can do better than this. Um, scout kits, I guess. And radios. Uh, excuse me, just go to Colorado Springs, please. No one else is here. Someone got there. There we go. Yeah, we might not be able to save that division, but we'll see. Come on. Come on. Eh, we can't save it, we can't save it, but I'm gonna make sure we'll kill every single other one of their divisions off, too. That's so stupid. How do they do get more defense? Nope, they're not going anywhere. They're literally all gonna die here. Ah, hot summer. And there you go. Piece of garbage. Well, let's go up here now. See what we can do. We're a very aggressive bunch here, as you can tell. Lone tree might not be bad either. Uh, and then cutting into the slave trade. When you go local boys, no more external assets, no more bad deals. We're going to go into the slave trade to make our own company. Without quarterly reports and boarding beans, but with way more cameras and stealing tools. Apparently some of the slaves actually knew stuff. Stuff like the location of still running factories, entry points, and exact moment when everyone would be in the same room so you could throw a grenade. That's not like a plan. If we do this, they don't attack us. We attack them. We should be relatively okay, but then again, I was wrong earlier. Ah, oh, are these, ah, uh, giants? Growing miners, huh? Oh, they're miners! Interesting. Oh, well, we do love miners. Let's see what we can do. I think they have a crap ton of HP, though. Or organization. But we'll keep working on this creepy deal. Um, in the meantime, how about you just, instead of doing that, just go around them. Literally just go around and they want to do this and play this stupid little game like this. Go around and circle and kill them. Come on. Oh, come on. Brosis. Brosis. You could have done better than that. Just go up. Seriously, just, just go up. See if you just encircle them all. Both of you go to Far Sons. Ruins. South Nine Pass. Cool. Plants, getting there, getting there, getting there, getting there. I'll just go, actually go there. So, okay, this is fine. It's literally just here to just distract them. Now they're running out of supplies up there, and they're running out of supplies down here. It's all good for us. Yay! And we got Far Sun as well. Cool. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue expanding with the Black Canyon. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.